I'm hearing a lot of doom and gloom in the media lately about the housing market and about the future of the U.S. economy. But I do see bright times ahead, and if you can keep an open mind, there are some amazing opportunities that you can capitalize on over the next couple of months in the real estate market. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you all the facts. Hi, it's Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower people to take control of their future through expert mortgage and financial strategies. In this lesson, we're going to talk about COVID-19 and the opportunities that it's bringing about for home buyers in the real estate market. Now, you need to first realize that before COVID-19 and the coronavirus took hold of the economy, the housing market was very, very strong. There was way more buyers in the market than there was inventory. So there was a, a real mismatch of supply and demand and very, very tight inventory levels. But right now we have a perfect storm because people are losing their jobs. And while that is negative and people are reducing their income and that's negative, what that's doing is it's creating people that maybe three months ago or six months ago or a year ago had no interest in selling their home. And now they're gonna be forced to list their property for sale. Not necessarily because they wanna make money, but because they need to get out from under their mortgage payment. For most homeowners, their mortgage payment is their biggest financial obligation. So as soon as you hit a financial issue, as soon as you have a reduction or a loss of income, the first thing is where can you cut expenses by paying your mortgage off by selling your property. And that's why I feel that you're going to see a higher inventory level coming up here over the next couple of weeks and months. You're going to see a lot of these properties come on the market that wouldn't have been there. There's going to be a lot more choices of properties that you'll be able to look at because again, these people weren't going to list their property before, but now they have no choice. So they're going to uh, see these properties coming on the market in a swift fashion. The other great thing is that interest rates were already low before all this, but the federal government as well as the Federal Reserve has really stepped in and said that they're going to do everything it takes to support this economy, and that means keeping interest rates low. For the last week, the Federal Reserve has been buying billions of dollars a day in mortgage-backed securities, and that's keeping interest rates down at their historical low levels, and that's something that we really haven't ever seen. Uh, th this level of interest rate um, is absolutely phenomenal and it's going to make it so your mortgage payment is that much lower now than it would have been than it would have been a year ago or a couple years ago when the rates were a little bit higher i do expect that these historically low interest rates will stay intact at least for the remainder of 2020 and beyond and the government and federal reserve has said that they are going to continue supporting the housing market and the mortgage market by doing all these uh, additional buying of mortgage-backed securities and whatnot the other thing is competition so you may have someone that was looking to buy a home that now doesn't have a job. So they're not looking to buy a home anymore. You may have somebody that was saving for a down payment, but now they got a reduction in their income. So now they can't save for a down payment. So all these people were gearing up to maybe buy a home over the next three to six months. Now they're not in the market anymore. So if you're watching this and you're someone that's got a good job or you've got income from outside of a regular job, maybe you haven't seen a reduction in income because you're in an industry that's insulated from these economic issues that we're currently having, you're going to be well positioned to be able to take advantage of this and you're going to be able to do it with less competition because as I said, a lot of these other buyers are not going to be in the market. It's really important that you get pre-approved early. You know, right now it's April, 2020. We're getting into the spring season. The housing market would be heating up regardless, but I think it's gonna be heating up even more. Based on all the inquiries I've been getting online and on the phone of people trying to get pre-approved, people that do have those good jobs and have that stable income, they realize that there's an opportunity coming. They're getting pre-approved. Make that you, get with a mortgage advisor several months ahead or as soon as possible when you're watching this. Get that pre-approval done, get positioned with your down payment and closing funds, your mortgage strategy, everything in play, and a pre-approval letter in hand so you can get out there and start looking at properties immediately, and you can put an offer in right away and capitalize because of this competition. You want to make sure that your offer is at the top of the stack. So I hope that helps. I really appreciate you watching this. Go ahead and follow me on all my social media channels, and if I can be of assistance to you or anyone that you know, please reach out to me via call, text, or private message. Hope it helps, and we'll talk to you soon. Stay safe.